students today we will solve numericals based on chi square test as a non parametric test chi square can be used as a goodness of fit and as a test of independence so we will solve the numerical based on both goodness of fit and test of independence so let's start with the first question a roll dice is thrown 132 times with the following result number turned up and frequencies are given and it is asked that the dice is unbiased or not so first of all you have to determine whether the goodness of fit will be applicable here or the test of independence so here you can see no two variables are given only one variable that is the number turned up and frequencies are given here so what we will do we will try to check whether the assumed distribution fit to the observed data or not so let us take the hypothesis that dice is unbiased now we will calculate the expected frequencies for that you have to calculate the probability of getting one of the six number that is equals to 1 by 6 so the expected frequency will be 132 multiplied by 1 by 6 that is equals to 22 so now we will draft one table for working out the chi square value so draw the table with the six columns heading number turned up observed frequencies then expected frequencies then o minus e then o minus e square and then we will divide these value by expected frequency so first of all write down the numbers in the first column in the second column we will write down the frequencies that is given in the question and then we will write down the expected frequencies that we have calculated next you have to find out the differences of observed minus expected so 16 minus 22 is minus 6 in this way you will calculate all the values of o minus e then we will square the values the square of minus 6 is 36 similarly we will calculate all the six values then we will divide this value by the expected frequencies and we will get the following answers then at last you have to sum the numbers so the sum will be 8.96 so this sum is your chi square value now we will calculate the degree of freedom by subtracting 1 from the n here the n is the number of items so here the numbers that appear on the dice will be 6 so the degree of freedom is 6 minus 1 that is equals to 5 now we will look at the table value of the chi square from the standard table available in, in the books as well as on the internet so the table value of chi square at 5 degree of freedom and 5 level of significance is 11.071 so we will see here that the calculated value is 8.96 which is lesser than the table value so we will say that the divergence between the observed and the expected frequencies are due to fluctuation in the sample so the result will support the null hypothesis and we will conclude that the dice is unbiased always remember when the calculated value is less than the table value then you will accept accept null hypothesis so in this way we can conclude the question now next we will study the question based on the test of independence in this question it is given that how many have been attacked and not attacked 
whether they are vaccinated or non vaccinated so the grid is given 2 by 2 contingency table is given here we will apply the test of independence and we have to check whether the vaccination is effective in preventing the attack from smallpox or not that you have to test at 5% level of significance so let us take the hypothesis that vaccination and attack are independent as i told you in my previous video that the hypothesis will always be that two variables or attributes are independent so here what we will say that vaccination and attack are independent now you have to calculate the frequencies expected frequencies observed frequencies are already given in the question these are the observed frequencies now what you have to do is you have to calculate the expected frequencies what is the formula formula is total a multiply by b divide by n here you can see we have to calculate the expected frequencies of all the four call or all the four cells but the total will remain same so let's start for the first table for the first cell how we will calculate we will calculate by multiplying a that is 500 that is 500 multiply by 216 is equals to divide by 2000 then we will get the 54 similarly for the second that is capital a small b we will calculate by multiplying 500 with 1784 divide by 2000 we will get 446 similarly for smaller a uh, kindly do the correction here this is small a this is small a so we will make a small a small a and capital b this is capital B. Small a and capital B is equals to 15, uh, that is 1500 multiplied by 216 divided by 2000, that is equals to 162. Similarly, in the last cell, that is smaller a and smaller b is equals to 1338, that we will obtain by multiplying 1500 with the 1784 and dividing the value with the 2000 we will get 1338 so now let us put all these value in the table like here we have to make the table with the six columns and then what you have to do you have to write down the group and then you have to write down the observed frequencies then you have to write down the expected frequencies that we had calculated next o minus e then we will square the values then we will divide the square values with the expected values so here we will have a all values in the table 31 469 158 and 1315 that is already given in the question and then we will put the expected frequencies that we had calculated like 54 446 162 and 1338 so we will find out the difference then we will square it and then we will divide it by the expected frequencies and finally we get the number that is 14.642 so now let's do the conclusion here the calculated value is 14.642 now we will calculate degree of freedom first because we have to see the table value only with the help of degree of freedom so the formula is r minus 1 c minus 1 r stands for rho and c stands for column so you have to subtract 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 that is equals to 1 so you have to check out the value of chi square in the standard table at 1 degree of freedom and 5 level of 5 percent level of significance that is 3.841 so 
the calculated value is greater than 3.841 so what we will do we will reject null hypothesis in this case we will reject null hypothesis and we will say that the two variables are what two variables are dependent means vaccination is effective in preventing the attack of smallpox so in this way we will do the conclusion i hope you all are able to understand how we will calculate the chi square in the case of goodness of fit and in the case of test of independence if you want i will once again clear you how we will calculate the expected frequencies how you have to first what you have to do that you have to multiply 500 multiply by 216 and then divide it by 2000 then we will get 54 you will place this value in this first cell similarly you will calculate the value of second cell by multiplying 500 with the 1784 and dividing it by the 2000 similarly then you will calculate the value of third column by multiplying 1500 with 216 and dividing it by the 2000 and then at the last you will calculate the value of last cell by multiplying 1500 with 1784 and dividing it by the 2000 and we will get the expected values for all these cells and then we will put these values in the final table and we'll repeat the same procedure that is finding out the differences of o and e then squaring it and then dividing it by the expected frequencies then to doing the total and then comparing the table value and the calculated value here the table value is less than the calculated value so we will reject the null hypothesis or we will say that the result does not support the hypothesis and we will conclude that vaccination is effective in preventing the attack of smallpox i hope now you will be able to understand the differences of the goodness of fit and the test of independence still if you have any query and if you want me to explain anything more then please feel free to write in the comment box thank you so much for today in my next video we will discuss about the ANOVA test called F test thank you so much